Hello everyone, it's DJZ Freddy Duke back again. It's time for a card class. It's Illusionist versus Fury 11. It's gonna be awesome. This one was requested by Mr. Baldnut and by Convict 140691. Monarchs versus the Infinity. The Monarchs, let's start off with it's a nice box. I'm just gonna go with the original blue one. Lots of embossing, says Monarchs on it, lots of details, very nice embossed, back design, custom seal, and just all sorts of nice stuff all over the box. And the cards, you know them, you love them, you get the ad card, you get your double backer, very nice back design, standard number cards. Standard court cards, except they got gold instead of yellow. And I really should organize my decks before I do this stuff. And you get some cool vintage looking jokers for a guy on this big high wheel bicycle. And you do get two of those. And a nice ace of spade with a crown in it. And it says it's playing card company, United States of America. Pretty cool. By the way, you might be interested to know that I have a new camera coming on the way. Should be here early next week. Should be good. Here's the other Joker. Identical to the other one. Pretty cool. The cards handle really nice. These are actually the real first editions because they have thicker borders. The newer ones have thinner borders. That's okay. It's all good. Very nice. The next one is the Infinity from Illusionist. And again, it's got some nice embossing. More nice gold foil, which the Monix doesn't have. It's got some gold foil anyways. And it says Infinity. And your standard stuff on the side. It says Infinity Series. They haven't continued the series for some reason. Why? Illusionist, why? Continue it. It's a nice deck. It's a nice can make a nice series and it says performance coding which is magic finish time discovers truth that's kind of cool and mysterious in the back you get the back design you get this as well on a flap which is cool have course with your standard ad card and you get a double backer nice back design with some kind of a gold accents on there and nice details you do get custom pips and indexes. Everything's custom on the number cards. There's club, spade, diamond, and a heart. You do get custom court cards as well. Very nice. Kind of standard, but also completely custom at the same time. Joker is like that, a hairy dude. I actually have to reveal five of the spades. I just think those are really nice. The Ace of Spades is the most confusing part to me. I don't really understand what it is, but it says Infinity Series. And it's kind of like a big red blob. <laughs> Well, it's got some red on there anyways. It looks like... I don't know. I, it's hard for me to... I don't exactly know what it is. And then you got a Joker. Pretty cool. Looks almost like Metallic Inks. And it says Infinity instead of Five Speeds. Like the other one. Again, handles very nice. Just like most recent stacks. And it looks... Pretty damn cool. If I had to choose one of these two decks, it's a very hard decision. Both are fairly similar. <laughs> With your double backer, and just an ad card, no gaff cards, or anything like that. This one is completely standard, except for the Joker and the, the Jokers and the Ace of Spades. This one is completely custom.
They are different yet similar. If I had to choose one, ooh, yeah, like I said, it's hard, but I think I have to go with the Infinity just because it is completely custom. They went to the trouble of designing custom pips and cord cards and everything while it losing it. While 311 did what they usually do. They just designed a court card, uh, so they just designed the Ace of Spades, a Joker, and the back design, and that was it. Not too much creativity. I mean, the back design is fantastic, but so is this one. It's pretty nice. I like it anyway, and I love these court cards and the number cards and everything, except for the Ace of Spades. It's I don't understand it too much. <laughs> Everything else I like. That is what I've got. Make sure you check out those channels. I'll see you next time.